so what I'm doing now at this point, I'm moving around and I'm trying to get the players aware of what we're about to work on. So it's an explanation and an explanation wants to be backed up by a little demonstration as well. So I always say explain and show. And if you do those things, most of the time, the players will understand exactly what you want them to do and that will allow for you to get good flow through your session. So here I am showing. The drill itself, it's a warm up drill with the football. The players are in partners. The player who's working goes into the middle box and whichever side they enter, they have to exit a different side. So I can't go in and out the same side. Once I've exited the box, I'm playing out to my partner and I should exit to the side nice and quick. So they've just set off here. The thing I'm looking to coach in particular is their first touch. So the first touch of the player receiving. I want them to push the ball out in front of them and I want them to step into their touch so they're playing with a, a real positivity and they're up in their speed. So we'll watch and see how they get on. As you can see, the players are working really hard and that's important. Your session should always be really intense and I'm trying to drive that myself. So as I'm walking around, I'm praising, but I'm also describing. So what that means is I'm not just saying well done, it might be that I'm saying well done Jamie and then I'll describe what he's doing. And if I want them to up the energy, I could say well done Jamie, great energy, he's bursting in and that spreads to the other players. Again, to up the intensity, you may have just heard, I've said 20 seconds left, I'm looking for the fastest group, so straight away people are on it because they want to impress. Again, it's just a communication skill that's going to allow your, your players to work even harder and push themselves further. So now I'm just moving the session on, I'm moving the practice on. What's happening is, I'm again, I'm going to do an explain and show. So I'm explaining to the players and now I'm showing them as well what I want. So I'm after a double pass or a one-two as a lot of people would um, call it. So at this point, I've passed it out to Kai, who's the receiver, who's acting as my partner. And what I'm trying to get them to do, the player who's passed out like I just did, is going to come and receive at an angle. So you can see I'm not in a straight line with Kai and then we've got a good angle to receive. So as Kai does it, he plays out, he gets his angle and then we bounce a pass and I drive in. So it's a bit of combination in this one. You'll notice as well, I'm trying to be snappy with my instructions. So when I am explaining a practice, I don't want to over explain it. If I can get it across to them and I think they've got it, let them go. And then if it does break down, you can always bring it back and go again. A lot of coaches often speak for too long. I want my hour to be as intense as possibly as it possibly can. So I get in a really clear explanation, really a concise explanation, show them and just let them go.
Okay, lads. So the outside player can now move his position. So you've just heard the progression. What I'm after here is the players being more aware. So up to this point, the player on the edge has been static and has stayed in their position, which means whoever's taking the ball in knows exactly where they're coming out. Whereas this time, as the player on the outside is going to move and alter their position, the player in the middle with the ball is going to be forced to get his eyes up and scan a little bit more. So it's a very uh, subtle change, but it's an important one, trying to work on the awareness of the players. I'm also giving the players more ownership this time and more decisions to make. So the player who's working, I'm just explaining here, what they're going to do as they play out to their partner, they're actually going to instruct them. So you're either going to say one, two or drive. So I've just told Jamie to drive, which is why I took it in. He's told me the same. So I've took it first time. If I said one, two to Jamie, which I have done here, we play our one, two. So it's the player who's on the ball working who actually dictates the play. So what you've got here then is a really high tempo practice. You can use it as a warm up like I have, or you can use it as a main part of your session if you wish. These players that I'm working with are really good players and really good trainers and they're used to training at intensity and a good tempo, which you can witness in, uh, in the video. But it, so far it's gone really well and now I'm ready for them to move on to a new drill, which is what we'll progress to next. Fast run out of this, Tommy. Touch Kai, try and get it in front of you, direct it. Round the back, good. Fast pass. Fast run, Kai. Yes, touch forwards. Good. Great drive with the ball, Harrison. So this is Round another great one on for your, your team or your head. group because Play. ideally Fast you split run, your Harrison. players in threes run, and you can have Harry. them working Make all sure very close to each other. So as a coach, you can see them throughout. Keep sorting the ball. It's a really positive Play run forwards. with the ball here. Fast so as you Harrison see the receiver he pushes touch, the ball, Tommy. I'm looking for a big touch. And then it's smaller yes, touches at the end. So as you see Tom coming to the end, smaller touches here to set up his pass. And then the receiver pushes their first touch so they can really accelerate. I want a fast run from the player who's passed. So let's see Jamie, he passes it. And then it's a Good fast run in. So you're keeping that intensity well again. It's not a Here pass go, and just amble back in. Finley, Step look at his in. work rate. Yeah, Getting good back into the time. start. I like it. Keep the work. Nice and quick. I want to see this. Come on then, Harrison. Fast run. First. Yeah, great touch, Tommy. Middle of the ball keeps the ball rolling. Good stuff. Play. Again, just being really specific Good. with my info like there. Middle of the ball keeps is. it rolling. Toes, I'm trying to back up my coaching top. points Good. and my information and what I want the players to well do by praising and describing the game. Touch Jamie. Go on, quick feet. Play up. Push it. Yeah, positive touch, Finley. Now tidy with the small touches. Play up. Drive. Touch Tom. Down in one Tom. You can't be more positive than that. Play. Step in. Good. Well done, good feet. Play up. Fast run, fast run out. I'll tell you what, I'm making you famous tonight, lads. This time, the player at this end presses the ball. So you know how we've done that fast run? That's kept the speed. So now again, back into my explanation of my show. Just a okay. bit of a progression on this one. We've done a fast run so far. So the player who's just done the work at these cones just in front of you. It returns to the cue really quickly to keep the intensity. This time he's turning it into a press. So as I pass the ball across, I'm going to get after it. And the player who's receiving is going to try and push the ball at an angle past me to take me out of the game. So here I go, push and press, angled receive to go on. So it's a, a little step forward, a little progression, looking to work in and out of the possession now. Okay, Tommy's being a bit cheeky with that one. We're taking the wall out of play, but he's thinking along uh, some clever lines. But as you pass the ball to the receiver, go and press it. Press really eagerly, and then the other player is going to just push the ball at an angle and take them out of the game. Again, press it. Come on, press it. Good. 
Bring the ball this way on the back. So it's nice and set up. Come on then, guys, press that ball. Good, good touch. Use the space. So as you can see, that's Harrison on the ball at the moment, and he's probably had the best touch at this point. So as a coach, uh, I'm thinking in my head, right, I've just seen Harrison. If I need a demo of how this works, I might look to set it up with Harrison because Harrison's really understood how he's going to push the ball off the press of the defender. Push it off the, pl the press. Go on then, Finley. Challenge yourself to go as quick as possible. Press this pass. Press this pass. Go on, pressurise him. Well done, Tom. Nice. Good footwork. Get it out of your feet. Now go and press. Can you affect it? Keep that ball rolling. Well done, Jamie. Well settled back down. Take it a bit closer for the pass. Push it out your feet here. Now you can affect him. Go on, get in his face. Good boy. Four passes to the goal. So the players are going to take what they've been doing and they're going to put it in more of a free play situation now. So this is a possession game with a focus on transition and they're using the, the things that they've been working on. So I've got a 4v3 in the middle. So I'm going to favour the attacking team, the team that I want to be in possession more. So four non-bibs against three reds and they can also use me on the outside. So you might see a pass now and again go to me. If the three reds win the ball back, then they can score an either goal. So there's a, you can see one goal in the video, but there's obviously one at the other end as well. So that's the transition part. If the non-bibs give the ball away and the reds get it, how quickly can the non-bibs press and try and stop them scoring? The non-bibs, they need an incentive as well to keep the ball and pass it well. They get a goal if they get four passes in a row. So you can see Harrison's just used me. Now, that ball was given away and straight away the first four of the Reds, they're transitioning, they're trying to score. The ball always gets returned back into the non-bibs. So they're going again here. So you can see a great reaction from Kai, who's just prevented the goal. The reason I'm going really big on my praise and I'm shouting his name out is because that's exactly what I'm looking for. I want good transition. If we can keep the ball, great. But what are we like when we give it away? And Kai was brilliant there. So one of his teammates went to press and Kai realised the danger was the goal and he went to cover the goal, which is excellent. I'm also always looking for the angles of the players. If you think about what we've worked on in the session, the reason this session flows nicely is because we've worked on double passes, we've worked on scanning, we've worked on pressing, and that's exactly what the players are doing in this practice. So they're just taking what they've been doing so far and applying it to this game. And that's more or less it. We just had a bit of a free match after that. So I hope you've enjoyed that. What I'd like you to do is comment and tell me if you've enjoyed the voiceover and find it useful. Let me know your thoughts on the session and I hopefully we'll see you back on my channel soon. Don't forget to subscribe.